Hello everyone, I'm Redilyn Yumul, a senior high school mathematics teacher. For this video using Cash Classways, we will solve problems involving simple and compound interest. The examples and steps to be discussed in this presentation are also indicated in the Cash book about simple and compound interest. To begin with, an interest is the rent paid for borrowing or using a certain amount of money called the principal. The rate of interest is the percentage of the principal that will be charged for a specific period of time. For problems involving simple interest, the interest is computed by getting the product of the principal, the annual interest rate, and the period of time in years. While the maturity value or future value is computed by getting the product of the principal and the sum of 1 and R times T. Now, not at all times, the unknown is either the interest or the maturity value. It can be the principal, the annual interest rate, or the period of time in years. So this video will help you to solve easily any unknown. For example, in this problem, the given R, the principal value of 1 million pesos, annual interest rate of 2.5% or 0.025, and future value of 1,193,750 pesos, while the unknown is the period of time. So the formula for future value is applicable to use in solving this problem. Using Calculate menu of Casio Classwis, we will just represent the period of time as X. Take note of the basic buttons to be used in our first example. So these are shift, alpha, calc, open and close parentheses keys, and uh, x. So input the value or the future value of 1,193,750. And then we press alpha, calc to input an equal sign. Then we input the principal of 1 million pesos. Then open parentheses. 1 plus the annual interest rate of 0 0.025 multiplied by x. And then we close parentheses. Okay. Then press Shift, Calc, and Equal buttons. So the answer is 7.75, which means that Paul will take 7.75 years or 7 years and 9 months to accumulate 1,193,750 pesos from his investment of 1 million pesos. The same method can be applied when a word problem involves compound interest. For compound interest, the maturity or future value is computed using this formula where M is the number of conversion period for one year. Just the same, not at all times the unknown is the maturity or future value. It can be the principal, the annual interest rate, the number of conversion period for one year, or the period of time in years. So for this problem, the principal or the present value is 250,000 pesos, the future value is 480,000 pesos, the annual interest rate is 10%, and the number of conversion period is 4 since it is quarterly. So the unknown in this problem is the period of time. Again, we will represent the unknown by x using Casio class list. Input 480,000. Then press alpha, calc, and then we input the principal of 250,000. Open parentheses, 1 plus annual interest rate of 10% or 0 0.1. Fraction key, then for M, that is quarterly, so the value is 4. Right arrow key, close parentheses, exponent key, 4. And then again, we represent the period of time as x. After this equation, we press Shift, Calc, 
and then equal sign. So it means that Andrea will take 6.6 .6 years to accumulate 480,000 pesos from her investment. Now let us try this example. So here, the given are 5,675, which is the future value, 4,300 pesos, the present value or the principal. And then for the period of time, this is 1.5 years. So we are looking for the annual interest rate R. So to compute for this, we input 5,675, press alpha, calc, 4,300, open parentheses, 1, plus, for the rate, we will represent that by x, fraction key, for the conversion period, since this is semi-annual, so the value is 2, right arrow key, close parentheses, Exponent key, 2 multiplied by the time, 1.5 years. So given this equation, we press shift, calc, and then equal sign. So it means the annual interest rate is approximately 19.38%. So that's it for this video. Thank you and have a good day.